I found out about Breath of Fire because I used to be in a, a, a theater company called Rude Gorilla. And a, a couple of the people from Rude Gorilla went over and founded Breath of Fire. And also, uh, I went to school with Sarah Guerrero. Uh, so I reconnected with her. And I, I was kind of busy with Rude Gorilla, and Breath of Fire kind of took off. And I went and did other things. Rude Gorilla kind of uh, fell apart. <laughs> and uh, then I reconnected with Sarah uh, through South Coast Rep. And, uh, and I heard that they were doing uh, play writing uh, uh, workshops and things like that. So I said, well, you know, why don't I try that out? I heard they were doing really great stuff in Santa Ana. So yeah, Latinas and Latinos are extremely underrepresented in theater, like when I, the stuff I was doing in theater up until this point, you know, not a lot of minorities in them. And uh, their stories are not told also. So uh, when I go in for the workshops, it's fascinating. I'm usually the only white person in there. Um, and the stories I hear from the Latinas are fascinating, things I've never heard before. And they're so interesting, so rich, and. Real, I think really important to hear, especially in this political atmosphere. <laughs> and I think if you hear a play telling your stories in your language, I think that really helps bring that culture into the limelight and helps other people tell their stories too. So I think it's really important to hear at least part of the stories in uh, the native language, in Spanish in this case. Even before I went to CalArts, I went to CalArts uh, for my master's degree. And I started doing plays at Ventura College, it's a junior college. And I just thought I'd try my hand at, uh, at playwriting. And, and I used to work at a library and I would, I would write while I was working. <laughs> and, uh, but then I, I got caught up in acting. And now I've restarted my playwriting. So. I think once I started CalArts, I did take a playwriting class and a play that I wrote got into a festival in New York. And I went over there and it was wonderful. And I, I did a couple of the playwriting festivals at CalArts as well. And I mean, it's similar, but it's a different feeling than if you're acting and if you're writing the plays. And I think uh, wh where I was out at emotionally, the acting was really important when I went to CalArts. But now I'm re-experiencing the joy, the satisfaction of writing plays now. And uh, yeah, it, and I think I found a new voice in myself recently. So it's really exciting. Uh, my play is called Vagina Blue. And it started from a prompt that we were writing in class, Diana Burbano's class. And she had us go out, it's the Grand Central, it, it's an art center. And she said, go out, you can go out into the building or go outside and just look around and see if anything prompts you to write a play. And there were these very interesting figures cut into the wall. And they were very, it was obvious to me that they were vaginas. And there were different textures, different colors, not what you would, not typical vaginas. And so I came back and I started writing about that. And that connected up with uh, the current uh, uh, attack on women's reproductive rights. And uh, so that's where my play sprung from. I want them to get out of the play at what a woman experiences, that her if these rules are put into place where, like, I can't remember what state it was, but they just signed something into law where six weeks, if you need an abortion, you have to have it before six weeks, um, what it's like for a woman to not have agency over her own body and not be able to make that choice for herself and her life. Uh, so I, I'm hoping this will draw them in. and and. It, it would be a tragedy, I think, if this continues to happen. So usually I have ideas floating around that I want to write about, but I take myself to the workshops and the classes in order to get a little bit of focus, like the prompts really seem to focus me. And even if I don't follow the prompts that they give, 
uh, to the letter. That's not really what they're for anyway. I, I seem to get just something that will focus me into whatever I'm writing. I'm, I'm doing a, um, a writer's group at a local bookstore, and uh, just the prompts, of, I've probably come up with four or five different short stories just from that. About Diana's classes for Breath of Fire, I went in there because uh, at the moment, my family doesn't have a whole lot of money, um, but I do want to keep creating different things, and so I thought I'd try it out, see what happens. It's free. So I went in there, and all of these people that I didn't know, a lot of them Latinas, uh, and then Diana's there teaching, and Diana creates such, such a supportive atmosphere. And I've been in some really uh, aggressive <laughs> uh, workshops for writing where people feel free to uh, critique other people's work in very aggressive terms. Uh, but Diana encourages all of us, you know, absolutely be honest. But, you know, she gives you a framework in which to critique other people's work and be supportive because that uh, the other manner of doing it, the aggressive manner, I find shuts down people's creativity. Um, whereas Diana's method, it, the flourishing that goes on in there, the the other women writing, I was astonished by the the quality of the work that they're producing. And I think that is due in large part to how supportive and warm Diana is. And uh, and, and she does a lot of her own work. Uh, she's, she's getting produced all over the place. So she knows what she's talking about. And yet she's very uh, gentle with people. I think you should attend this uh, lab new work festival because these works shine a light onto little corners of experience that you might not have seen before maybe you're in that little corner and you you know that experience but you've never seen it you don't know how to share it you go into this space and hear this with other people and now you can talk about it now you can share it it's easier for you um and i i've heard the the beginnings of some of these works and they're fantastic. They're so intriguing. And it makes you want to learn more about them, too.